Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is Monday, January 11th, 2016. My name is Cliff Backus, and this is your Push Button Stock Trading.com daily video market review. Much of what we do at Push Button Stock Trading is based in part or in full on William O'Neill's classic book, How to Make Money in Stocks. O'Neill utilizes the acronym CANSLIM to identify the important elements of what he's looking for in a trade. The A in CANSLIM stands for annual earnings and reminds us that we should be looking for stocks that have an average of at least 25% annual earnings growth over the past three to five years. The L in CANSLIM stands for leader or laggard. It's important that we identify where the leadership in the market is. To that end, we use HGSI, High Growth Stock Investors Spectrum Analyzer, to identify market leadership on a daily basis. So let's get started with that. Friday, of the top 100 most powerful stocks in the most powerful industry groups, 12 came from utility networks, 10 from integrated utilities, 10 from real estate investment trust, 7 from packaged foods, and rounding out the top five, we had healthcare, entertainment content, and application software all with five each in the top 100 most powerful stocks and the most powerful industry groups. These would be good places to begin looking for stocks when the market goes back to a buy signal. Let's start today with a quick look at the Russell 2000. Russell 2000 on Thursday undercut its lower channel line, which is bearish. Incidentally, I apologize for not getting a video review out on Friday. I had a little trouble getting my act together. Back to the Russell. We have undercut support down here at the September low, the September 29th low, in the 1079 area. And right now, the Russell seems to be in free fall. We'll see if we can find a, a bottom here. And the first area of resistance is going to be this lower channel line. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ composite. But before we do that, the M in the CANSLIM acronym stands for market, and to my way of thinking is the most important element. So let's take a brief look at the market. After attempting to rally, markets sold off again Friday. Volume fell versus Thursday's levels. According to our market timing model, we remain on a sell signal. A sell signal indicates that we should be off of margin and aggressive traders can sell short. We should sell any long position that if sold at current stop levels would result in a loss. All stops should be at their tightest levels on all positions. Conservative traders may want to hedge their portfolios with contra ETFs, exchange traded funds. This is an incredibly volatile market. A sell signal indicates that we can be short positions I personally would not want to be short or margined right now. Friday, declining issues bettered advancers by more than two to one. Surprisingly, the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline line still looks not bearish. Although another day of selling will probably undercut the late November low confirming the downtrend. New lows swamp new highs, and according to our Ramosi ratio, large capitalization stocks bettered small again on Friday. Large caps continue to outperform on a 10-day moving average basis. It should be noted that small caps typically outperform in bull markets. Our Ramosi overbought oversold indicator is showing an extremely oversold condition in the market. Keep in mind, an extremely oversold market can become severely oversold. Okay, the NASDAQ composite on Friday was down 45.79 points or just under 1%. The NASDAQ attempted to rally early in the morning, but turned tail and closed very near its low for the day and very near this long-term trend line. This trend line goes all the way back to the beginning of the bull market back in 2009. We closed at 46.43. Trading volume was below the prior day. 
For you followers of William O'Neill, we are in a market in correction. We have been since January 5th. Right now, the NASDAQ seems to be bracketed by support at this long-term trend line and resistance up here in the 4900 area. Our market timing signal is on a sell signal. Let's take a look at the S&P 500. S&P on Friday was down 21.06 points or 1.08 percent. We closed at 19.22. Again, the S&P is testing support at this trend line, which goes all the way back to the beginning of the bull market back in 2009. The S&P, like the NASDAQ, tried to push higher on Friday morning, but wound up selling off and closing very near its lows for the day. Trading volume was below the prior day, and the S&P is in a market in correction, has been since January 4th. Right now, the S&P is bracketed by support at this long-term trend line, and resistance up here in the 1993 area. Our timing model is indicating a sell signal on the S&P. A sell signal indicates that we should be off margin and aggressive traders can sell short. We should sell any long position that, if sold at current stop levels, would result in a loss. All stops should be at their tightest levels on all positions. Conservative traders may want to hedge their portfolios with contra ETFs. That's about all I have for today. If you want to talk about any of the stocks mentioned today or any of our market strategies, please feel free to give me a call, drop me an email, or make an appointment. Come by the office, see what we're up to. Contact information is on the home page. Please take a minute to go to our subscription page and subscribe to Push Button Stock Trading. You can also follow us on Twitter at Push Button Stock. Again, my name is Cliff Backus. That's your daily video market review. Have a safe and profitable day. Keep your stops in place, and I will see you again tomorrow. Please stay tuned for our important disclaimers. All the best. Disclaimers. Push-button stock trading video market review is produced and edited by Clifford B. Backus. Mr. Backus is a senior vice president of investments, technical analyst, portfolio manager, and partner with the investment firm of O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated. Video market review is produced solely for the benefit of our clients, friends, and colleagues. Anything written, stolen, and or plagiarized in this publication is done without malice. Further, the analysis and opinions expressed in this publication are strictly those of the editor and not of O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated, its affiliates, subsidiaries, or any of the officers or employees of O'Hanison Liqueurs Inc. On that note, we submit the following. The analysis calculations and evaluations presented herein are based on data and assumptions O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated believes to be accurate. O'Hanison Liqueurs Incorporated makes no representation that such analysis or calculations are accurate or that such valuations represent levels at which actual trades may occur. This report has been prepared from original sources except where otherwise noted and data we believe to be reliable. O'Hanison Liqueurs Inc., its affiliates and subsidiaries and or their officers and employees or their families may from time to time acquire, hold, or sell a position in the securities mentioned herein. Moreover, opinions may differ from one entity to the next. If we are used in connection with the purchase or sale of any security discussed in this report, we may act as principal for our own account or as agent for both the buyer and the seller. Push Button Stock Trading is dedicated to the education of friends, clients, and paid subscribers. Push Button Stock Trading is an information service only. The information provided herein is not to be construed as an offer to buy or sell stocks of any kind. Push Button Stock Trading is created to aid subscribers in making informed investment decisions based wholly or in part on technical analysis. It's possible that at this time or some subsequent date, the editors of Push Button Stock Trading may own, buy, or sell the investments presented. 
All investors should consult a qualified professional before making any investment. The information provided has been obtained from sources deemed to be reliable, but it is not guaranteed as to the accuracy or completeness. The editors of Push Button Stock Trading make every effort to provide timely information to subscribers, but cannot guarantee specific delivery times due to factors beyond our control.